Hi, it's Jenny. If you have followed my work for any amount of time, you know I adore Graphic 45, and their Mother Goose collection is no exception. In fact, it inspired this fun wall piece. Graphic 45 always has Hampton Art stamps that coordinate with their paper collections, so I'll be using Mother Goose number 2 set and stamping on a wide variety of surfaces. The base for this piece was a wooden shadow box that I bought at a craft store and I just flipped it over and used the back side. I primed it with Art Anthology's gesso and then used the Art Anthology colorations to color the background. I just used a mix of blues um, and sprayed it, let them run together, and then dried it. I stamped a border using a large flower from the stamp set and stays on ink directly onto the wooden background. And I did this all the way around, just not measuring, just kind of eyeballing it, all the way around the, the wooden block. And this piece is 10 inches square. Using Art Anthology's Velvet Dimensional Paints and a water brush, color in the flower images. And at first I did this with the Desire, which was the dark red color, but I wanted it to blend a little bit better with the color in my pattern paper. So afterwards I went back over it with a second layer of the Sunbeam in the Dimensional Crystal. And it just gave it a really nice blending of the, the two colors and made it look more realistic. And finally, I added just a, a circle of the Sunbeam Dimensional Crystal in the centers for the flowers as well. And that gave it a little bit more dimension. I used the Stays on Ink and this time stamped Mary on canvas. And you can see what a nice crisp um, image you got even stamping on the fabric. And then I did the same technique just coloring with the water pen and the velvet dimensional paints to color the image in. And I let this dry and then fussy cut the image out and set it aside to put on the canvas. I used this text paper for my background of the canvas and just roughly sketched some hills and a little pathway and just kind of laid Mary out where I wanted her to be and then I just started painting my background in.
I added some darker colors just around the edges to help shade it and I find that just blending it with my finger does better than a paintbrush. So here's the base finished. I'm ready to start adding some of my elements just to get the placement right. So there's Mary, and then I had these adorable clouds from Basically Bear's Celestial Shapes collection. Um, I didn't think that they showed up enough against the white on white background, so I used some of the colorations, sprayed a little bit on my mat, and just ran the edges around the colorations and the felt was really absorbent so it soaked in and gave me the perfect outline for the clouds. Oops, sorry about that. I got a little bit off camera and didn't catch it, but you'll get the idea here. For Mary's little lamb, I wanted to stamp her on felt. So again, I used the stays on ink, and then I used the velvet in um, cotton and really tried to build up some dimension with this so it, it would resemble the wool on the sheep. So just a stippling kind of action, and I built it up really thick and then let it dry completely and then went back and, and cut the little lamb out. So now everything's ready to come together. When I stamped Mary, there were some fine details that would have been too fine that I would have lost trying to cut it out. So I stamped the image again just onto the background and it replaces those images that I couldn't fussy cut. And then I will adhere the canvas Mary on top of that. So here's how the little lamb looked, all nice and dry and fluffy. And here's the lamb with Mary. You can also see that I added a star um, with the clouds, and that was also from the Basically Bear set. And I just traced around the outside of this acetate star with the dimensional crystal to make it show up a little bit better. And I layered my papers just like I would for a, a layout. And I also added a tag at the top of the canvas with the Mary Had a Little Lamb stamped on it and embossed with black embossing powder. And here is the finished piece. I think this was really fun. I hope you have fun trying out some of these things and I'd love to see what you create. Thanks for stopping by.